What is up my beautiful people? This is just an update video for you guys to let you know what's going on with Sailings and Garo. And give you a promo code for the Annapolis Boat Show, which I will be at. So that promo code is Zingaro2021. And if you would like to buy tickets, you'd like to come, you'd like to visit, you'd like to meet all the YouTube channels that are going to be there, go! It's going to be fun. I will be there from the 14th to the 18th. Uh, I'll be staying on Talisman's boat, which is a, another Oyster 485, so that's pretty cool. So, what's been going on with me? I have sailed to Panama, as most of you guys know. That was a really nice sail. We had the spinnaker up for a lot of that. I did my first 200 mile day on the boat during that time, which is super cool. This boat's fast. It sails so well. I did such a good job picking this boat. I'm telling you, this is the best sailboat I think I've ever been on. It sails like a banshee, it's crazy. We spent a week in the San Blas. There was me and four crew, so there's five of us total. Uh, it was awesome, I got 180 gigabytes of footage. While I'm in Panama, I just put a deposit down on a solar arch. So I'm gonna get a solar arch made. I've got four solar panels, so it's 1600 watts of solar and it's gonna have integrated davits that come out from the stern rails. So as the stern rail goes around, maybe I should just draw it for you real quick. Okay, so if you guys can see this, it'll go back at a 70, 70 degree angle. Well, actually, the angle will be 70 degrees here, 70 degrees. And then it'll be integrated into the um, stern pulpit. So he's gonna cut these tubes and integrate the new tubes in it on both sides and then he's going to extend the tubes on the back here and here so it'll be two dinghy davits that come back and they'll, they'll be canted in just a bit and they will hold the dinghy up right next to the boat so I can tuck the dinghy in behind the boat. Uh, I didn't want davits that are going to be really high and the davits that, that uh, Oyster usually has they kind of look like this here's the end of the boat they just come out like that uh, those are like five thousand dollars so it this whole arch and everything cost me five thousand dollars so I didn't want to I can always wait cut the um, cut the davits off if I don't like him and buy another davit but for now I'm just gonna have it like this I think this will be the best way to reduce the windage get as much solar as I can and then get a nice strong de um, solar arch. And then eventually I'll probably put a, uh, a wind generator on as well. How do you draw a wind generator like this? Something like that. Whatever, yeah, that's a wind generator. <laughs> uh, I'll probably get one up here somewhere. But for now there's gonna be, these are 400 watts a piece. I have them already. So we're just doing one, two, three, four. And then there'll be a little workout bar too. So there, there'll be a bar that comes out and there's gonna be like a curved thing uh, supporting the front of the, of the solar arch. So it's gonna be quite an involved thing, uh, you know, integrated in everywhere with the boat. He's also gonna take, I have a life raft here and he's gonna take that and move that to the side of the boat. Uh, so he's gonna cut all the stainless and make it look nice there to, to clean up the back. And that way I can put the, the frame for the um, dinghy motor because the dinghy motor right now when it's in the way it's just hanging over where the where where you sit and I want to be able to sit back there while we're sailing so dinghy motors going here uh, life wrap because this seat only extends to here the ladder extends to here and the and the pulpit extends to here so this seat is taken up completely by the dinghy motor this seat we can put the dinghy motor here but we got to move the life raft and the life raft will now be on the side and that's how they do it now with all the oysters so it's a very involved process all this is very involved and took some planning and um i'll do a video about it but that's what's happening so yeah that'll be really cool i'm, I'm super excited about the davits crew right now is just me and anna and i'm getting another guy that's flying in in three days there's a couple that's going to come on with us for a week in San Blas again. And then I've, I'm in talks with a, a few different people. I'm going to try to keep it like half and half men and women, but I'm allowing pretty much anybody that wants to come now, if they have a good interest and they really want to learn, I, I really want to start having more diverse crew. So that's, that's a big change too. The plan right now is to uh, get at least three crew and then sail probably about 1500 miles 
Um, I can either tack back and forth through the Caribbean, go outside between Jamaica and Haiti and go down the top of it, or scoot up next to Florida and come around and do a big loop. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I still need to research a little bit more, but um, it, it looks to me like going up over the top is, is the way to go. I, I've talked to a couple people that have done that, and they say that that's the way that I should go. Uh, it, do, it does depend on wind. It always does. So, I mean, no matter what plan you lay out, you need to have A, B, and C. Then the future plans, I, you know, I'm not really sure yet. I still want to take this boat around the horn. It's got a lot of work to do before then but the solar is going to help a lot. So um, before I get to Brazil and start going down, I'd like to have a good generator. I'd like to have some solar. I'd like to have some wind power. I'd like to have the renewable energy enough and probably get rid of the propane system, put some induction cooking in here. I've got a lot of work to do left, but the boat's good. It's finally watertight. It's sailing really well. I'm getting some new sails from Precision Sails. That's about it. I'm, I'm dead broke from the um, radar arch. <laughs> so I'm taking paying crew. If anybody wants to come crew, let, let me know. And if anybody wants to come meet me in the Annapolis Boat Show, please let me know because uh, I would love to meet you guys there and see you guys there. There's probably going to be a lot of people there. It's been a long time since there's been a boat show. So I will be staying, like I said, on another Oyster 8 485. If you guys would like to come visit me and have a beer on my sister boat, uh, please do. That'll be in Annapolis, Maryland, October 14th through 18th. Code Zingaro 2021. Okay, I love you guys. I really do. Thank you so much for supporting me and talk to you soon.